Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install your start button back into your Windows 8 operating system. If you were Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP user, all these previous Windows versions, they always had a start button here in this corner. Um, for Windows 8, Microsoft wanted you to get used to, to the actual start menu. Um, because this is the way Microsoft is going, but some people like me, I still want my start button on the corner, right? So there's a couple of ways of doing it. It has to be through an application that you have to download. I listed all of them in the actual description of the video. The one that I chose to use is called the vStart, which is this one, vStart 8. But you could try any of them. Any of them will add your start button back into your operating system into your screen so let's run the vstar what I'll do for this part is that okay it's coming up pretty quick I was gonna pause it I do not want snap do to be my default agent or anything of that and I do not want you to install it just be careful when you're installing any of these programs they're free but they always carry add-on software that if you just install them you're gonna have like multiple toolbars and all of that just be careful when you're installing them just go through thoroughly and install only what you want which is the program that you want to download And that's it. As you can see, it's adding the start menu. And here's your start button. Back into all programs, and it's much better for me. I love this way of looking for my accessory tools instead of going. Um, I don't know if you saw my previous video of how to access your application, but the way you access it here is that you have to give a right click and this little tab pops up and you're able you're able to go into all your apps and then it organizes it in such a way that I hate it I cannot stand it I'm sorry so I really wanted my start button back hope this helps you out guys like again there's a couple of ways for you to actually install your start button any of them will add it some of them have better features like you could go into sub menus and stuff like that I decided to this one because it's the classic Windows 7 start button Okay, hope this helps you out. Have a good time. Bye.